Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to send emails with PHP Mailer using the Gmail SMTP server. So for those of you for those of you who don't know what PHP Mailer is, this is a PHP library which provides a collection of functions to build and to send emails. And if you go right now on github.com slash php mailer slash php mailer, you'll find the repository. You'll find their repository, this is their main repository, and they have you know documentation they explain they show you here what features they have and they also explain how to install it we will be using this method here we will install it uh, using composer so if you don't have composer just search on google composer composer download and their main website is getcomposer.org click on that link under downloads download it install it and then after that we will use it and then below here you'll find some other information they have an example we will be using this example we won't use all these lines from here but most of them and you see here the first part is the server settings is the smtp yeah, they have you know smtp debug is smtp host here the authentication we should set it to true and then we have a username and password this is the protocol tls and then the port recipients body attachment we won't have attachments and other information um, you know you can read more on this page here and then about the smtp server the gmail smtp server i will show you that they have some kind of limits here and it says here that a registered g suite user can uh, rely messages to more than 10,000 recipients per day and then you can send more than 2,000 messages per day so here is the um, host this is the host we will be using smtp.gmail.com we will be using the tls protocol which is using the 587 port and that's gonna be it we need from here you might ask the question you might ask the question why we should use the smtp the gmail smtp server and this library and not use the php native um, the mail PHP native function and use our hosting hosting server to send emails. Well, a good answer would be that if you have your website hosted on a shared hosting, it means that there are other people using the same IP to send emails and uh, to use other you know to use APIs and stuff like that. So whenever whenever you have a shared hosting, you have a shared IP, and that IP may be blocked because uh, other people may spam some services they do spam and may, or they may try to do some other stuff that that's you know breaking the rules the google rules or the facebook rules and that ip may be blocked by google facebook or, or other big companies like those and whenever your ip get blocked you can't you can't send emails to those services you can't use their apis and this is a very it's 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 not a good practice uh, most of the I mean some of those shared hostings they they, they even require you to have an SMTP server to prevent these kind of things because it's not they also are trying to protect their IPs not to get blocked by this big company so using an a Gmail SMTP server is a good practice this PHP library it makes our job easier because you know you just install it require it here using that object here just set you know set up your configure your the connection to your smtp server and then after that you are good to go <coughs> that's why it's easier to use this function this this php library so to get started i'm gonna install this library where is it we're using composer make sure you have composer i'll use the command line so I'm gonna navigate to my C Sam HD docs folder. You can navigate to wherever you want and can you install this library wherever you want. I'm gonna install it on, in this folder because this is the main folder. I use XAM for for uh, Apache, but usually whenever you know I'm working with Node.js, I install everything in this folder because this is my development uh, folder in my in my computer. So I will install this library here, and then after that I will upload it to my server. 
and there is composer require php mailer slash ph php mailer <coughs> this is gonna take a while and while this is installing here I will create a new file I'll create a new PHP file and I will save this file on under my downloads folder and then after that you see I'm under my downloads as index.php and then after this I'm gonna upload it to my server you see this is the folder for my subdomain I refresh this one I will upload my file to my server and I will open it directly from my server so I can make all my changes live okay so we are here I'm gonna check the library it says that the library is, has been installed I will close the, my command line and now from here I will navigate to my htdocs folder C temp a oops htdocs and this is the vendor here so I'll upload my vendor folder to my server this is gonna take a while and while this is uh, uploading there let's go ahead and create our index.php file so here we have to require as we see in our example we have to import the php mailer classes and then the php library so I'm just gonna copy this stuff from here and paste it here like this and then below here we will assign we will have a mail variable and we will assign to this variable a new object which is the php mailer and then below we will have the try method and here we will start with the server configuration so let's put here comment smtp server configuration now here using the mail object we will have the smtp debug and we assign to and now we will have the is smtp this is gonna check if there is a smtp thing on our stuff and then below is the smtp this is the smtp host so we have mail host and here we should we should put our it should put the gmail Post this one smtpgmail.com. We can even copy it, paste it here, and now below it's gonna be the authentication. We we should set it to true. So there is the mail as smtp off is gonna be true. Here we have our user username. It's gonna be mail user name and here you insert your email from where I mean this is gonna be the account from where all those e all these emails are gonna be sent so I have my test media 80 at gmail.com and then you have your uh, password And my password is hack gmail now below we have to um, we have to indicate our protocol the protocol we want to use for this smtp server so it's going to be mail smtp secure and the protocol as i said uh, it's going to be tls in our example and then below is going to be the port The port is going to be 587. Now below we will have the recipients. <coughs> so here we will have mail set from. We put here the same email as we have here. Test media. Test media gmail.com. And then the second parameter is the name. Let's put here Vicod Media. And then below we have the address. This is going to be 
to where this email is going to be sent. So add address and here we will have wildvictor.gmail.com and then below we will, we will have another line this is going to be add, re, add reply to you. so this is going to be the email to where uh, the answer will be sent if the you so if our user gets this email and they want to reply whenever they click reply this email from here is going to be inserted automatically on the to where this email should be sent so i will show you whenever we get this email when i will get this email in my gmail account i will show you how it works so we will have the same thing we've got the same thing here and then below we should have the content content here is mail is html true because we want to send html tags um, in this email and we'll have mail and this is going to be the subject and we can say my first smtp my first gmail smtp email or something like that and then we have mail this is going to be the body and on the body we can say hi using v tag thank you just to, to see how that the html tags are working and then we have the last line which is going to be from from this content not from the content but this this line is going to send the email so we have mail send function here and then below we will output message has been sent okay. if there was any error we want to catch that so we'll have exception And here we will output echo message could not be sent error and here we want to output the error this is going to be why this explanation why this message didn't go through so let's go over this code one more time here we import the uh, php mail classes as you see in this comment we um, require the library let's check if the library has been uploaded so the library is on the server everything is good now we assign we assign a new object which is the php mailer to our mail variable here and then all these objects all these functions come from the object so we have the smtp debug debug assigned it to is smtp we check the smtp here and then the mail host this is the smtp host smtp gmail.com the we set the authentication to true it's going to smt smtp off the username this is your email and then the password this is going to be the the account from where all those email all all these emails will be sent from and then we have the SMTP secure. This is the protocol TLS, and then the port 587. Now the recipients. This is this is the um, others from where it's gonna show on that email. Whenever we'll send the email, it's gonna show there from where this email um, was sent. So I put the same email here. We put a name here. Add address. This is to where this email is gonna be sent. And then this is uh, the next line. This email is gonna show up there if we wanna click on that re reply button. If we click on that reply button, this email is gonna be inserted automatically as the uh, recipient. Now in the content, uh, we set the is HTML to true because we want to use uh, HTML tags in our <coughs> message. 
we have the subject here and we have the body and then we send the email using the send function and then here we just uh, output message has been sent or if there was any error we, we output the message couldn't be sent error this is why this message wasn't or couldn't go through so I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna open my browser now I'm going to my subdomain it, it's it says now that 403 access denied because I didn't have any file I didn't have any file on this folder I just created the index.pg so if I refresh now and we see all these reports it, it shows out the configuration and then below here we can see the message has been sent and now if I will go to my while victor at gmail.com and refresh I see that there is a new message here if I open it we got the subject my first gmail smtp email and this is the body hi and then thank you you see it's bold it means that you know we use the html tags here you can insert any html tag you want here now now if we click on this more information we can see that it's sent from vicode media you know test test media 88 at gmail.com i had the reply uh, reply to while victor at gmail.com it was sent to victor gmail.com the date subject and then as i say if i click reply you see here the reply to it, it inserts automatically that email from here so that's it guys for this video um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you like the video just click on that like button and subscribe for this channel to get more videos like this ones thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial